Hi, I want to talk about a little bit about, about Prometheus on the small scale. Uh, I'm sysadmin in a, work, in a group in the information science department at the University of Heidelberg, and there I use Prometheus for our local infrastructure. We had the talk yesterday of breaking Prometheus, scaling high. This is basically the opposite, um, where I'm scaling low, because we just have a handful of machines. But I still think that Prometheus is useful in this case, and especially you at your modern receiving devices uh, looking at the video now, if you think if you should use Prometheus for your handful of servers, I say, yes, you certainly should, and there are some reasons for that. And the first thing is, uh, it is amazingly simple to set up. You just have to um, fire up the Prometheus binary, um, the, an alert manager, and uh, then the node exporter, which is uh, quite quickly done. And then you basically already have a running monitoring solution. Um, and also you have not only the monitoring, but you have also alerting included and graphing, so you don't need to have the, uh, the monitoring and besides that to collect D additionally, but it's all in one, in one piece. Um, and especially for small, small setups, I really like uh, the text file collector, which is uh, one of the collectors of the node exporter, where you just ha can uh, have your scripts or your cron jobs or your timers get, generate some metrics and just write them to a file somewhere in the uh, somewhere in the, uh, in, the, uh, in the file system, and then the node exporter is exporting these metrics as well. Uh, this is one example where I uh, actually using that. Uh, this is our backup system. I'm, there is one machine that I uh, need to backup, and what this script is doing, it's an rsync script. script. It runs every night, just rsyncs the entire server onto the backup device, and then it writes out just some of the metrics, like how long did the backup take, when did it finish, to a file in the uh, in the the, uh, where the prom, uh, where the um, node exporter looks at, and then exports these metrics with me, so I can just let Prometheus check when did the last backup run, and if that's too old, then please tell me that something is not working there, and I can just say how long did it take, how big is it, which is actually, uh, which I'm actually a little cheating what, uh, with regard to the size, because I'm just saying, okay, tell me how much free space I have, and tell me how much free space I had 24 hours ago, and the difference must be my backup, right? And as I'm doing, um, as I'm using rsync and do some deduplication, some basic deduplication by using rsync hard links, I'm thinking also about if I can get the number of inodes to get the number of changed files, because uh, if the file doesn't change, rsync will use the same inode, but if the file changes, it will copy this, uh, the file again, and it should use a different inode. So you can actually, if there is an, uh, an inode, um, metric somewhere, you can use that, or I plan to use that, to actually track how many files did I copy. And um, yeah, so that is basically it. If you're wondering if Prometheus works on the small scale, I can um, really say that it works perfectly well. You don't even have to use automation to run it, roll it out, although I don't say that you shouldn't because automate, uh, automation is awesome, but uh, it's easy enough that you even if you don't have automation in place, you can still use it because it's amazingly easy to set up. All right, any questions? If not, then thanks for it. Uh, thanks Thank for your time. You.